everything changes. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Andrew, and this is Kite Army. So you know what is perfect about the Swiss Army knife? It is one tool does it all. Well, Ego's figured out the same thing for our backyard and around the house. They've got something called the Ego Powerhead System, and it's a one tool Swiss Army knife. Let's go check it out. Well guys, here it is. This is the Ego Powerhead. This is the main component you're gonna need for this system. This is where the power is and the battery lives. It also has a variable speed trigger and multi-speed button right here. But you have to have this before you can use any of the eight attachments. Now, speaking of attachments, that's the cool stuff. Let's go and check them out. So that was a really quick teaser of all the attachments you can use on this multi-head system. Let me slow it down for you a little bit so you can really see what works with this system. First off, there's a 10 inch pole saw, there's a 20 inch hedge trimmer attachment, a 15 inch string trimmer attachment, an eight inch edge trimmer, a bristle brush attachment, a cultivator attachment, a rubber broom attachment, and lastly, an extension pole attachment. So there are some other manufacturers that make these universal multi-head systems, but where Ego stands head and shoulders above the rest is in quality and cost. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The Ego Powerhead works with every battery Ego makes. The 56 volt, 2.5 amp hour battery, the 56 volt, 5 amp hour battery, the 56 volt, 7.5 amp hour battery, and finally the 56 volt 10 amp hour Goliath battery. So one of the first things you'll notice about the Ego Powerhead is how well designed the connector is on the Powerhead system. You just slip it in like that, line up the arrow. When you're done with that, lock it down. To release it, unscrew this screw, push this button right here, and it comes apart. It's really smooth and really well designed. So the next tool that really highlights the Ego build quality is the edger. You can see this shield is all aluminum. In here you have your cutting wheel, here's a guide. You also have an adjustable wheel here for height. This is just really well built and rugged. Now the pole saw is one of my favorite tools. You can see the quality here again. This is all aluminum, it's cast, it really is high quality. Here you have your oil reservoir, the bar is an Oregon bar, and underneath this shield right here, which is basically the only plastic piece, let me take that off with the tool that's included, you can see the build quality. Look at that guys, everything in there is metal, Nothing can break. The only thing that's plastic is the cover here and the oil reservoir. One of my next favorite tools is the adjustable hedge trimmer. This thing is so awesome. You just pull this trigger right here and you can adjust the position of the hedge trimmer so you can go really high and reach high hedges or you can go really low. It's all totally adjustable and folds down into a really nice compact size. Check out that build quality, guys. Try to beat that. That is top notch. So the broom attachment and the rubber brush attachment are basically built on the same exact drivetrain. Let me show you how it works. First, you take this pin off the end and then you remove one of your brushes. Next up, you have this piece right here which you can remove this metal pin right here and this will reveal the inside of that drive mechanism. You can see there's bearings in here. This thing again is cast aluminum. It is really super rugged. So let's put it back together. First slip on your sleeve, and that should line up just like that. You can see my holes right there. Then get this metal pin, drop it in, push it down. Next, get your brush and slide it on to that piece right there. And lastly, get your cotter pin and slip it in. So now let's talk about the cultivator. I have to say when I first used this, I was shocked at how powerful it was. So let me show you how you service this. Again, you just remove the cotter pin. You can replace these wheels. Here's the second wheel. In there you can see there are bearings. This thing is solid. This is pretty much the same drivetrain as the brush and the uh, 
rubber brush, but it's just being repurposed for the cultivator. And trust me, this thing digs. Clearly Ego did not cut any corners with this Ego multi-head system, but seeing it work, well, that's the clincher. Let's go. The wrap up is coming up guys, but before we do that, make sure you lick that like button, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. A comment, you get it, a comment. All right guys, let's take it all the way back to the beginning when I talked about the Ego multi-head system being like a Swiss army knife. You can see what I'm talking about now. This system is powerful, it's flexible, it's versatile. You don't have to store a ton of different heads, you just mix and match what you need. And those tools are clearly well built. What's not to like guys? You watched the whole video, congratulations. But there's a video right there that you're gonna wanna see. I'll catch you over there.